Okay, so I've got my new uh, Evolution 15 inch chop saw. Just getting it set up and I'm comparing it to my original one. And I'm gonna tell you the differences that I see immediately right away. First of all, this um, front plate has three different settings. And right now it's on the biggest. So I can already see that I can get larger pieces you could see the difference right there, how much larger hunks I can get in here to cut. That's going to be very beneficial. Uh, second thing I'm noticing is this, this turn handle. This one's a lot easier to use. You, it's, you know, it's a spring loaded. It's, uh, you see how this one is tucked in under that back plate? So it's kind of hard to get your hand in there. This one is much easier to use right there. Next thing I noticed was the beefier teeth on the spindle here. So you could see this one here has got some wear going on already. I often thought, man, I wish they would change this a little bit. So they got this uh, three-prong handle instead of the wheel. I don't know if that's going to work better, but I can already tell you the bigger and heavier teeth should work much better. Um, the footprint is about the same size, but again, this can cut much larger material than the original one. So I'm going to be giving this thing a whirl here very quickly and testing it out. Another thing I see the new one comes with is permanent mounting options. you got four slotted holes there, and this one does not. So if you want to permanently mount it on a cart or whatever, you can do that with the new model. Another thing I noticed with the new model, it came with an uh, extra couple of uh, blade compressors, if you will. I don't know the technical term, but this, uh, this ring here is larger than the old one. So you can see it's probably going to have a better grip on that blade than the older unit. They're both 14-inch blades. Um, I think they could each hold a 15. I don't remember for sure, but right now they're both 14 inch blades, even though it's called a 15 inch chop saw because I think it could take either blade. The hand safety is a little bit different here. You have the push button on the bottom and then your trigger, whereas the new one has this lever up here, this trigger right here, and then you push and go. So. Until I test that, I guess I can't comment on which one might be better. Okay, the bases are even right now, but if you look at the wheels up top, this the new one opens up larger. Um, so presumably that will allow you to cut a larger material. Um, but I, I haven't read the manual. I'm looking through it as I go right now to see if there's a maximum, but it does open up wider than the original model. And the closing pin right here, I'm not sure. It almost looks like maybe they just wanted to get rid of parts that you could snag on. The old one has this kind of little bell sticking out. And this one, this new one, you just pull in by hand. You know, you lower this whole thing, and this is your lock. I tried it already. It's easy to operate just with your hand. So that's probably the new design. Okay, for making angle cuts, the original one has a little dial meter on the inside there. I don't know how accurate it is. I've done a few cuts with it, but there again, this was really clumsy to get at. And that new dial, um, I've used it, I think, once for a 45. But I noticed the new one now has a, an angle chart right out here. So when you loosen up and you decide what angle you want, it's got all your degrees right here. And it's got the three different measurements, presuming which of these three holes that you're in. I just may need to double check so I'm using the right one. But I, I'm presuming the closest one this way is the closest or the farthest one that way. But that could be a lot easier to use than trying to get, get your eyeballs in here at that small meter there. All right, I'm going to make my first cut here with the new saw. Um, but this is looks like three inch angle iron. It's scrap from my big scrap pile here And this is going to be for the bridge project to tie all those uh, Railroad ties together. I'm going to use two of these to start with And I'm going to lag them all together and see how that goes But let's see how the first cut goes. This thing's not really supposed to spark So we'll see what happens
Okay, so I could confidently say that this this heavier thread is much easier to use this this whole unit right here than the other one Much easier to get on and off with the heavier thread. I definitely like it All right, so I've had the new one a few months now and I've done many um, fabrication projects with both of them and the new one is definitely not only new but new and improved uh, the folks at evolution they listened to the input and uh, they definitely made a better saw I've uh, fabricated multiple projects here on our Illinois farm and it's just a great and handy tool to have if you're gonna do any kind of metal work whatsoever so I definitely recommend the new evolution chop saw the steel saw to anyone that's looking at it so hopefully this was helpful and if you don't mind like and subscribe to our channel and follow all of our other country living adventures all right thanks a lot